Can I get your name and badge on my shirt? My card is warm. Your card? Yeah, warm. Okay. Hey, there you go. Thank you so much. Can you keep six foot distance there? You don't have a mask on. You don't either, huh? Well, I'm not, I, you just approached okay. me. I didn't well, walk up to you. Let me Listen, go take, your, take your let me attitude. Get my mask. Take your attitude and shove it up your ass. Well, that's what you can do with that. Me an attitude. And then once things go up, off, it's very hard to get them back down. I didn't so just walk off with an attitude. Just I did not yourself. walk off with an attitude. Okay. Well, I did not walk off with an attitude. Say it again. I did not walk off with an attitude. You can say whatever you want. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Elko, Nevada, at the John C. Carpenter Law Enforcement Complex. And uh, today, as usual, we're going to take a look around and take some video uh, from the public sidewalk and see if the folks here in Elko, Nevada respect our First Amendment right to take video in public and of public buildings. So. Uh, Here's a little look at the neighborhood here. And um, so over that way is the, uh, I, think it, I think it said family court uh, probation and some other stuff, maybe a juvenile detention center. the main law enforcement complex so just waiting for AP to get his uh, set up ready and then start walking around stay tuned alright guys so uh, we're at the gate here of the law enforcement complex which houses the sheriff's department uh, I believe a jail it seems like and uh, over here like I was saying is the juvenile detention center probation and family court I think so we'll see how it goes See how they're doing today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and in public uh, I am out with watching the watchman today. And, We have a sheriff's facility right here next door. So we'll uh, stop by and pay a visit on those folks in a little bit after we're done here. So Northeastern Nevada Juvenile Center, this facility was made possible by the generosity and support of the citizens of Eureka and Elko counties. But, hey, there's no restricted area signs anywhere. Right? Yeah. Employee uh, parking area, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Supplemental parking. And then there's like a. Uh, I don't know what this trailer is. It says Elko County Juvenile Probation is proud to be recognized as a lead school. So I guess they must have a classroom. Uh huh. That's cool. Uh -huh. Give you a. Uh, View of the landscape here behind this place. This is a beautiful country, guys. of the uh, 
law enforcement complex here. You can see there's some uh, sheriff's officers. It appears to be over there. It could be uh, jail guards if this is a jail. This lady's staring at us on the phone over here. Some kind of badge on her belt there. I'm not sure if she's uh, with the sheriff's department or some kind of uh, worker for the juvenile detention center here. Name and badge number? Kyle Craig, 133. 133, thank yes, you. Sir. Appreciate that. No so, how can I help you? No, nope. someone's just wondering what you're doing. Oh, okay. That's it? Yeah. All right. What are you guys doing? So, who's wondering? Are you wondering or somebody no. else wondering? Someone else is wondering. Oh, okay. Well, they, they can ask me if they want. Uh, that sounds like they did. I, couldn't, I can't oh, hear you. I'm sorry, sorry. sir. They, it sounds like they did, and then you wouldn't provide an answer, and that's why I'm here. Nobody spoke to me. Okay. No. All right. No, we've been recording since we got here. So. Okay. Any yeah. issue with recording here? No, nope, not at all. Yeah, I have no issue with that. Yeah, because it's, it's public property. Right? As long as we don't go inside. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can go inside. That's public property, too. It's part of the county. Well, we they right now, I guess they're restricting access because of the whole situation that's going on. Okay. So normally, I would go inside. I'll go with the coronavirus. The they have the door locked and, you know, whatever else. Oh. So. Are they just restricting you from going inside because they're not wearing masks, or...? Well, the signs on the door say that they're restricting access to appointments. Okay. Uh, because of the situation we're in, so. Gotcha. Okay. So we're just hanging out outside. All right, cool. Thank you, you. you can let her know it's all good. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> this guy's ducking behind the corner taking video of us. Not bothering me, man. You're a, you're a law enforcement officer with a gun in a bag. Why wouldn't you just approach somebody and ask them what they're doing? What are you guys doing here? Well, now it's too late to ask me. Now you, you know, I mean, if you, if you would have just walked up and asked me what I'm doing, I would have been happy to tell you. My boss actually did that. Your boss walked up to me and asked me what I was doing? Yeah, you approached her when she came walking up. Never happened. I've been filming since I got here. Never happened. I never spoke to anybody. Nobody ever asked me a question. I would have been happy to. But you know, calling the calling the sheriff on somebody for taking pictures is a little extreme. Well, I think. When you're around a juvenile detention and an adult. I just detention. can't hear you. I'm sorry. When you're around a juvenile detention facility and an adult facility, you know, we, those raise some red flags for us because normally people are, you know, videotaping, you know, jails and stuff. So. Well, Google does it all the time. I can go online and look at Google Maps of the whole property, the whole area. It's nothing, there's no, no, nothing secret, right? Can I just get your name and badge number since we're talking? Uh, my name is Sherry Espinosa. My, my, my badge number is J7. J7. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You good, Sherry? We're good. Are you good? Yeah, I'm okay. good. All right. Yeah, I would just suggest next time somebody's walking around, just ask them what they're doing. Okay. Right? Just have a cordial conversation and ask. I mean, that's, you know. You guys have any questions for me? No, not at all. Oh, well, you got another one coming in. That's a waste of resources. So what are there's you no, There's no you reason to be doing that. For? Like I said, I mean, I wish you would have just come out and asked me respectfully. Why? Well, I'm asking you respectfully now. 
Well, what I'm doing is taking some video. Okay. Is there any issue with that? Well, no, I'm just asking what is it for, so, like, a documentary, or? Well, I mean, I choose not to answer certain questions. Okay. Um, I will answer certain questions, but some questions I don't answer. But, uh, so you're fully aware that we're not doing anything we can't do, is what you're saying. I, right? I, don't, I don't think so. So then why would you call the sheriff? Oh, I'm sorry. Sheriff's office next door. And uh, can I get your name and badge number, sir? My card is long. Your card? Yeah, well. Okay. Great. There you go. Thank you so much. Can you keep six foot distance there? You don't have a mask on. You don't either, no. Well, I'm not, I, you just approached okay. me. I didn't no. walk up to you. Let me Listen, go take, my your, mask. take your Let attitude. Go my mask. Take your attitude and shove it up your ass. Bro, that's what you can do with that. Go, I don't put up with attitude. You can go scratch with that. I'll stick to talking to you two if you have any questions for me, but uh, all we're doing is taking some video. Right? So, you know, the attitude and that kind of stuff is, what you guys are doing is creating an issue. I don't think I was peacefully, I was peacefully out there on the sidewalk taking some video, and now there's an issue and because- we're just peacefully talking to you, this is my work, so it's So not, what? It's not- You work in a public building that I pay for. What does that mean? So you're a resident for that? That is another question I don't want to answer. Okay. Yeah. But there's no, you know, you have to use it. You've, you've got training, okay? You've got threat assessment training, okay? So you need to use that, put that in place, and try to figure out what's going on before you just set off a lot. I, I, I don't see any reason for any of that. Your attitude is completely on call. What are you talking about, man? But you, you get no respect. About? You get zero you respect. I'm telling you, you get zero respect and you get a complaint. Okay. Yeah, for your attitude. You want me to get the uh, chief down here or the uh, lieutenant? Or you get you anybody, you, anybody okay. you feel like hanging out with. You can call anybody you okay. want. Listen, you don't intimidate me whatsoever. You don't either, too. Okay? You don't These either. people are acting cordial. Your attitude is going to get somebody hurt one day. Okay. So just behave yourself. Okay. Act like a public you servant. Too, huh? Treat the, 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 the people in this town with some respect. Okay? okay? okay. And don't walk up with your attitude because all that does is give me an attitude. And then once things go off, it's very hard to get them back I didn't down. So just walk behave yourself. Just behave yourself. I did not yourself. walk off with an attitude. Okay. Well, I did not walk off with an attitude. Say it again? I did not walk off with an attitude. You can say whatever you want. You started to crap with the young ass. You can say whatever you want. You walked up two inches from my face. So where's your ass? I don't need a mask. I'm outside in the outdoors in the fresh air. But when you walk up a foot away from my face, then you need to have a mask on. Okay. Right? Social distancing, right? Right. Right? Where's your mask? Your your de-escalation skills are in the toilet, bro. Okay. You're asking the same questions again. Ask and answer, brother. So go on with your day, take off, have a nice day. You're dismissed. Yeah, thanks, Sherry. Did Appreciate you. Did you bring Heather? Appreciate what? your smart the whole thing. Did you talk to Heather? Or? Uh, she's got cords to go to, so. You got cords? You got a bad attitude, Ortiz. Okay, man. And those two stripes aren't helping. Okay, man. What do you mean, okay? Look at look how right. you talk. You're like a child. All right, bud. Is this guy your boss? Yeah. Yep. I hope you're not learning from this, because you seem like a very conscientious, courteous individual. All right, man. Okay, and I, maybe you should be his boss. That, if it was my vote, that's what I would vote for. He came up very courteous, okay. very professional. Your attitude right. is in the garbage, but right. you're going right. to get people in trouble one day. Okay. You're going to wind up getting your own officers hurt one day. Right. Just put the attitude in the can. Right. There's no need for it. You okay. just keep going, all right, bro, all right, bro. What are you, a moron? Right. Seriously, are you like, I guess so. are you like I, slow or something? I guess so. I guess so. I guess all right, so. well, hop back in your car and go slowly down the road so you don't hit anybody. Adios. Have a good day, Ortiz. Yep. Just going to stand around and do nothing? Yes. Okay. Head okay. hey, well, you take care. Call you Craig. have a wonderful day, okay. Officer Craig, and I appreciate you for your courtesy. I don't know your name. You probably won't give it to me, but appreciate your time. Well, I might have given it to you, but your your superior here has got an attitude problem, and I don't deal well with that. So I appreciate that. And you know what the serious problem is? Guys like him that start an attitude. Once things go up, it's very hard to get things to come back down. That's why de-escalation is such a big part of your I policy, agree. right? I so what he just did, you don't have to answer me. He's your boss, you're in uniform. I don't want to put you in that situation, but you just saw what happened. And there's no need for that. Because that conversation, that escalation didn't happen with me and you. It happened as a result of the way he approached me, trying to be intimidating, walking up a foot away from my face. I understand. I asked him for his name and badge number, said, no, I'm not going to give it to you, but you can have my car. Just, you know, power check. Gotcha. And what that does is that, there's a divide right now in this country. I agree. Between law enforcement and the citizen. Okay, and what our mission is, Unbeknownst to Officer Ortiz there, is to close that divide and create open dialect and communication with law enforcement so that we can highlight the good guys, but we don't mind highlighting the bad guys either. So I think we found one of each in this situation, and I sincerely hope that you don't allow that to rub off on you. Because the good officers in this country need you to stand up and 
back them up. We need good policing in this country. I agree. Okay? I mean, I just, like, I'm just one of you guys outside of this, so I don't, I don't understand why you have to, you know, take the board. No, you absolutely don't, and I, I, I applaud you for saying that, and that's the way it should be. But, you know, when guys like this raise the bar, and raise, escalate things, and bring things up, and things start going that way, you know how fast things can go haywire, and stupid things happen, and there's no reason for that. And so he's, I guess, long story short, you're just trying to, you're making a short film about bridging the gap between the citizens and law enforcement? I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Okay, but I'm not, you know, I, I wasn't interested in talking to him, but I'm, I'll talk to you. And you could just be playing good cop with me, but I don't think so. I think you're coming across as a very sincere, nice guy, and I appreciate that. Uh, your mom probably did a good job raising you. That's probably what it is. But uh, what we do is, we have YouTube channels. This is my son. Okay. Okay, my name's Jason. His name's Ben. Okay? And what we do is, we started this about a year and a half ago, before this whole current situation that we're in. We travel the country, and we go out, we try to have conversations with law enforcement, we try to have conversations with people such as yourself, and open up dialogue, open up communication, and just try to form a better understanding for each other, and create some sort of a middle ground, because these days, middle ground is disappearing. Yeah, it's all, it's all black and white, right? That's exactly right, yeah, and I think we need to bring some gray back in the Yeah, so that's all we're trying to do. It's an exercise of rights. So he failed, you passed. <laughs> That's the way that goes. And it's gonna be on YouTube. Okay. So, you know, a couple of people see it. I have a small channel. Wink, wink. But, uh, you know, that's, I just hope that maybe this conversation has reminded you of why you became a police officer. And what every, was it? Every day I remind myself that. Good, and I can tell by your smile that that's probably true. And you probably have a good heart. You're probably a good thing for this. You're probably an excellent public service for this uh, community. I appreciate it. And I hope that there are other people like yourself in your department. And you know, if you see another officer doing something wrong, you got to stand up for what's right, man. You swore an oath to the Constitution. I agree. And were you? Did you serve in the military? Okay, so you only served. You only swore one oath. Yes. I asked that because if you were in the military, you swore two oaths, mm -hmm. right? So. Your first allegiance and your first priority is the Constitution of the United States. Everything else comes second. So we're depending on you and we're asking you, when you see a rogue officer out there doing something wrong and breaking the law and violating the Constitution of the United States, we depend on you to call those people out. And that'll do you a favor because the worst enemy of a good police officer is a bad police officer. Right? right? So that's all That's all we're doing, man. That's it. And that's more of an explanation I usually give most people, but I feel like you earned it and you deserve it. So. I appreciate that, guys. Uh, no problem. Hey, we you appreciate guys, you. Absolutely. You guys be safe. Um, if people, I, I'd imagine more people may, may or may not call because of the equipment. If you see me roll by again, I'm sure they have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if they do call you now that we've spoken, just let them know what we're doing. Okay. Because, you know, it's, it's, it is a waste of resources for you guys to be sitting here. He knows he can leave. He's just sitting here because his ego kicked in. You know, he, he just, that's, that's, that's what we're, we're looking for guys like you so we can highlight that, and we're looking for guys like him so we can highlight that. So this was a home run for me. And I hope that we walk away. My end goal at the end of these things is, I want to walk away educating myself and learning something I didn't know yesterday. And I want you to walk away, whether you've learned something or whether it inspires you to think about something, and maybe it'll just, you know, positive results. And if we all walk away from this conversation and this situation as better people, then I'd call that a good day. I think so. Well. That's all it is. Cool. All right? Take care, guys. Well, we appreciate you all so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Out Have a good one. Stay safe. I'll put an image of uh, Ortiz here's card on the video so you guys can uh, check that out. Plate number 73674. And uh, we'll just hang out until he's ready to go. See him off on his day. Honor your oath. I do. No, you don't. We'll be keeping an eye on you, bro. We will. We want to get that third strike, man. Take care. Get out of roadway, sir. I'm not in a roadway. You're not here for my safety, bro. You just roll on, have a good day. Honor your oath. Treat people with respect and dignity. Goes both ways, bud. Yeah, sure does. Absolutely does. You learned a lesson today. All right, guys, you saw how that went uh, here at the Elko County Juvenile Detention Facility, probation and uh, family court. Like AP was saying before, uh, the younger officer was uh, behaving very cordially, and that's what we like to see. 
uh, no issue taking video and was willing to have a conversation. And he really seemed like uh, one of the good officers, but uh, his supervisor, Ortiz, was very aggressive, tried to intimidate, walked up within a foot of AP's face, uh, refused to give his name and badge number, just said, here, you can take my card and pushed it into uh, either AP's hand or his chest, I didn't see, but he just like, yeah. But, um, so that's what we like to see from the younger cop, uh, the older one in the superior position, not so much. And that's definitely an issue. We definitely um, should not have aggressive and uh, unprofessional police officers in high positions uh, in, on the force and you know hopefully the younger officer uh, spreads his attitude and the way of behaving to uh, his fellow officers and uh, the Elko City Police Department will benefit from that but um, it's about it for this one at the end of the day uh, we were not prevented from filming so our rights were upheld and uh, that's about it for this one. So if you like these videos and what we do, make sure you check out uh, my other social medias and subscribe to my channel and Amagansett Press's channel on YouTube. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Out. Uh,